It is Rob and Liz in the morning. This is his radio. So I think one of the most biggest joys in a dog's life when they're in the car is to have their head out the window. Oh, yeah. You know, absolutely. the tongue is flapping in the wind. The ears are back. It's just it's amazing. It's like a piece of heaven for a dog with their head out the window. I don't know if you heard, but there's a senator in Florida that's trying to make it illegal huh? for dogs to have their head out the window. Why? Like, yeah. is it a protection or it's a protection? It's a distraction. It's all these things that that he's saying. But bottom line is he wants it illegal. And if the bill passes, because it's not law, I don't know if it will be. But if it passes, then they will have to be, if there's a, if there's a dog, a pet in your car, there has to be a harness or a pet seatbelt while traveling in the car. So it's to protect yeah. the baby. Okay, okay. I thought he was upset because he was getting spit on the windshield. <laughs> no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I know Scott has thoughts. I, you know, I worry, though, I don't have a problem with the dogs hanging out the window, but no, I, I worry when I see dogs sitting in the laps of drivers because, why? you know, you wouldn't put your baby up there, so why would you put your fur baby up there? I worry like if there's a crash, you know, okay. that's my thing. You just took me to school a little bit, but, because I see where, where you're coming from, but at the same time, I like to keep my baby in my lap when I'm driving. See, Liz, with her smaller dogs, because Ace... You would have yes. Ace in your lap when you're driving down the road. I did. My little AC, he passed away last year. But, yes, when we would go out for a puppuccino, he would sit in my lap. And if I was wearing a necklace, he was the cutest thing. He would put his little face in the necklace and just go to sleep. Do you hear how she just turned the dog into a diva, a puppuccino? Listen, that dog was such a diva he was an old curmudgeon but he was such a diva he liked a puppuccino in the morning he liked a latte at night i'm just kidding <laughs> look at this